Today is December the 22nd, 2025, and basically the USA has banned all foreign-made drones and critical drone components. When I say banned, basically they have introduced components onto the coveted list and drones and components that are not manufactured in the USA are basically no longer legally allowed to be sold in the USA. Now, just to be crystal clear on this, this isn't the DJI ban. This isn't what we are expecting in two days. This is completely unheard of, unexpected, and I'm not going to take too long in this video. I'm going to give you the facts as we know it today so you understand it. But the DJI ban is still going to happen in two days. That's from now. We'll talk about that very quickly as well. But this is fundamentally different, but fundamentally worse because it's not just about non-US manufactured drones. It's also about components as well. Now, hopping over to the desktop. Today, there's been a public notice from the FCC, specifically document DA25-1086. And this is relating to public safety and homeland security. And I'm not going to go through every part of this document. You can go and read this for yourself if you want to. This is basically like the minutes of a meeting, but it goes on to update you about the current coveted list but it specifically goes on to talk about drones and components. And the important part to understand about this is from this section here, which is summary of determination. And I'm going to read this. This is all drone parts. This is not DJI. This is anything which I will tell you about in a minute that is not manufactured in the USA. As President Trump noted in restoring America's airspace sovereignty executive order, unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, otherwise known as drones, offer the potential to enhance public safety as well as cement America's leadership in global innovation. But criminals, terrorists and hostile foreign actors have intensified their weaponization of these technologies, creating a new and serious threat to our homeland. Drug cartels use UAS to smuggle fentanyl across borders, deliver contraband into prisons, and so forth, so forth. And he goes on to talk about the bad things that people are using them for. As a result of all of this, when you go down to the bit that really matters... As a result of the reasons summarized in this document, the US government's executive branch, branch interagency body referring to the FCC's coveted list, all UAS produced in a foreign country, unless the Department of War or the Department of Homeland Security makes specific determination to the FCC that gives the UAS a class and does not pose such risk, this body determines that US critical components produced in a foreign country pose an unacceptable risk to national security of the United States and to the safety and the security of US persons and should be included on the FCC coveted list. This includes data transmission devices, communication systems, flight controllers, ground-based stations, and UAS controllers, ground control stations, US controllers, navigation systems, sensors and cameras, batteries and battery management systems, and motors. This basically means all of those components are on the covered list, not coveted list, sorry, the covered list um, as of now. Unless those components have been specifically deemed not a security risk, those components are on the co covered list. Now, there is also a document from the FCC talking about this, and I'm going to cut past the nonsense on it. You can go and read this. Um, but they do talk about this again in a bit more detail. 
But also the interesting part in this to understand is this section here where they talk about what does this mean. So this means new devices on the covered list, such as foreign-made drones, are prohibited from receiving FCC authorization and are therefore prohibited from being imported for use or sale in the US. The update to the coveted list does not prohibit the import, sale or use of any existing device models the FCC has previously authorised. So that's an important distinction in a minute, but be warned, it's not as simple as it sounds. This action does not affect any previously purchased drone. Consumers can, can continue to use any drone they have already lawfully purchased or acquired. So... First of all, let me just apologize for saying coveted list. I was reading coveted, covered list, okay? Not coveted, covered list. The basics are on this. Anything previously FCC certified at this moment in time is fine, but anything new isn't. But just take into account this. Many of these components here have never had FCC certification. So take a motor. A motor has never been FCC certified. So that basically means they can say no to every foreign made motor. Flight controllers have never been FCC certified. So that basically means they can say no to every foreign made flight controller. This is, in all essence, a potential ban on all non-US manufactured components being brought into the US. This is not related to military use. This is not related to government use. This is FCC. It is period. This is even trying to sell those components in the US is not legal. This is beyond anything we have seen before. And right now, it really isn't clear where this goes. This is happening. This is already agreed. This is relevant as of now. This happened today. The very basics are the US government have banned the import and sale of all non-US manufactured drones and critical components, which includes flight controllers, communication systems. That means this remote controller from RadioMaster, fail. The Protoss from Cadex, fail. The new anti-gravity A1, fail. The new goggles, fail. Anything not US manufactured. Now, there is this loophole of previously certified, but what if the component never had certification? What does that mean? I don't know. Does that mean it'll be fine or does that mean, sorry, you're not having it? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Now, the truth is, it is such early days and I'll talk about Gary's story in a minute. I was just on with Gary, and Gary's got a good story on this, which is on SUAS News, which I'll point to in a minute. Um, this is beyond anything we expected, but don't mix this up with the DJI thing. The DJI thing is separate. That's two days from now, which is still likely to happen. Although it's already banned, because this basically bans DJI anyway. Um... Is NDAA fine? Yes, because it's US manufactured, so it should be fine. Now, none of us know what this means, really, from a ports perspective, import perspective. Will you be able to buy stuff on Banggood, AliExpress, Hobby King? I know. Um, it is beyond anything we've really understood. And whilst there are clearly people who knew this was coming from the industry perspective, none of us saw this coming from my side. I wasn't aware of this. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. From a components perspective point of view, look, the chances are you're going to start to see stuff dry up. 
I wouldn't rush out and buy stuff, but I uh, suspect you're going to see supply in the US dry up pretty quickly. Further to that, what it means in the long term, I don't know. It is very much a kick in the ass for DJI FPV. But just remember, the only FPV system right now that you can actually buy that meets the requirements of this is the NDAA compliant HD0 system. DJI Avatar HD, the normal HD0 system, I don't believe will comply with this. So the only digital FPV system that technically would comply with this is the NDAA compliant HD0. How that's going to pan out, I don't know. Remote controller wise, well, you might be buying a Yeti from now on. I'm not sure where they're made these days. Um, unprecedented. The truth is completely unprecedented. Now, what does this mean for your existing drones? Well, everything you've got will still work. And according to the documentation, everything you've got is still legal and you can fly it. What this will do, though, is have a dramatic effect on what you can buy in the future if, if they do what they're saying here. As for DJI, we're still around the corner from the ban on that. However, this basically bans it anyway. Further to that, the chances are... DJI's previous FCC certifications will be withdrawn, but understand that isn't to stop you flying your drones. The thing to specifically understand about the DJI FCC, if they ban DJI, that means new DJI products can't get certification, but legally DJI could still sell all of their existing certified products in the USA. So the Mavic 3, the Mavic 4, if that's got FCC, you know, the Mini 4, the Mini 3, the Mini 2, the Neo, all of that, because it's previously certified, could still be sold. However, if the FCC withdraw those certifications, it then means those older products also couldn't be sold. But that doesn't mean you legally can't use them. So don't mix the two up. Any withdrawal of existing certification is more about stopping the sale of previously certified products and not what they're going to stop you doing. This, though, is unbelievable. I'm going to, again, just put this back up to show data transmission devices. So that is OcuSync 0304 Avatar HD Ascent, any of the digital FPV systems on the market. Communication systems, that's your remote controller, that's radios, that's anything else. Flight controllers, well, that's flight controllers. Ground station controller and UAS controllers, well, that's a UAS controller. Um, navigation systems, I, again, I guess that's a autopilot or an additional computer. Sensors and cameras, well, that's cameras down the drain. Uh, batteries and battery management system. And notice they've separated off batteries and battery management systems. But more worryingly, motors. Now, as I said earlier, a motor's a passive device. I don't... This wasn't certified today. So what does that mean? Does that mean you'll be still able to import it and it's okay? Or does that mean, sorry... It wasn't certified before. You can't have it now. Um, so this will impact RC cars too, potentially, if the motor is capable of UAS use. Yeah. Absolute insanity. Now, I really don't know how this will pan out, so I can't give you any advice. If you want to know more, Gary has his story on SUAS News. Gary has the original story he published here, FCC updates coveted list, so please do consider checking it out. Um, and he does have some of the information there. Also, check out the document, which is DI251086. Go read it for yourself. So you understand it. But the basics are, guys, welcome to Endgame. Welcome to the attempt to withdraw the use of 
this technology from our hands. And this isn't just about drones. There is a concise effort across the globe right now to withdraw technology from yours and my hands. It's not just about drones, it's about GPUs. You've got Nvidia, you've got memory being pushed into AI use. You've got Nvidia basically appearing to turn into a military company, if you're listening to everything they're saying. Um, You've now got governments trying to restrict the use of drones. This is about control. This is about delisting, de the term I use, deconsumerizing this technology, clawing it back into the hands of government and agencies. And if you start thinking about where we're headed in the next two, three, four, five years, big AI use. Drones, autonomous vehicles, they want this for themselves and they don't want us having it. And that is what this is about. It is about control. It is about restricting the flow of this technology, even in the hands of people trying to do good with it. And don't think for one minute that they care about people who will die, people um who will not be able to do search and rescue, first responders. They don't care. They don't even want that first responder having that drone in the back of his car. This is about withdrawing that technology, bringing it into a space of control, giving you access to what they want you to have through leasing, through controlling. The truth is, if you look at the way the computer industry is heading right now, they are really pushing hard to drive away the use of these GPUs from consumers. NVIDIA have announced that they're going to be making less consumer GPUs. This is what happens when businesses take control. And it's not just Skydio's got the market. It's not just about Skydio. This is far bigger than a few drone companies. This is about control. It is about who has access to the technology and we are heading for a very worrying dystopian world where you will fucking own nothing and you will have what we say you can have you will do what we say you can do and you will only be able to buy the products that we let you have and even when we want you to have them, we're not going to let you own them. We want you to lease it. So anytime we can decide you are not the right person to do this, you will own it. And as someone just said, you will you will know nothing and you will be thankful for that. And it is as simple as that. So I'm going to end this one here and I'm going to publish this on the channel. What a night. What a day crazy times. It's an evolving situation. Go read the documents for yourself. Interpret the information for yourself. Make sure you understand what's going on. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.